So it's been a while since I've sat down and talked to you guys face to face like this. This won't be the last time I'm gonna sit down with you and talk about what I'm about to discuss. And that is of course, unreleased stuff. Specifically iOS 14 leaks, specifically code that 9to5Mac has seen suggesting some very exciting things, especially if you're an iPad fan. That's what we're gonna talk about right now in this video. Apple is planning on introducing system-wide support for mouse cursors in iOS 14. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Jeff, that's not new. iOS 13 has support for, my, for mice. Uh, you could pair a Bluetooth mouse in iOS 13. And while that is true, the support was very rudimentary. It was buried deep down in the accessibility settings. It wasn't really meant to be used by just your average person, right? Um, it was almost sort of like a little beta feature in my opinion. But iOS 14, on the other hand, will take it to the next level. It will turn it up quite a bit. It will bring mainstream cursor support to iOS and specifically the iPad for the very first time. And that's very exciting. Now also seen in the code are references to not just one, but two new smart keyboards. And it's unclear exactly how these two devices differ, um, but we have some speculation about what these devices could include. Obviously, rumors have suggested that there's gonna be a trackpad built into the new smart keyboard, and I say that is very likely based on what we've been hearing. So indeed, iOS 14 is going to bring Mac-like cursor support to the iPad for the very first time. And this seems like it goes beyond mere just text editing supports, not just like the trackpad or the mouse is only gonna be useful for text editing. No, this seems like it is system-wide this is Mac-like cursor support. This is bringing the iPad Pro, uh, presumably, up to Mac level as far as you know input with the cursor is concerned. Now, since iPad OS and iOS have always been about touch, we can expect touch support to still remain the primary way to interact with your iOS device. Thus, you can expect the cursor to, to automatically disappear shortly after you stop using your mouse or trackpad, and then as soon as you resume using it, you can expect that cursor to reappear. And there appears to be support for multiple cursor types. So for instance, if you hover over a link, uh, the little arrow indicator will change from an arrow to a hand, indicating that you, know, you can click that link. Now it appears that Apple is also working on support for gestures. So like on a Mac where you can two finger tap, for instance, on the trackpad, to invoke a right click. You'll be able to do something similar in iPad OS 14. The same thing goes for a tap to click as well. So these new smart keyboards will presumably have a trackpad built in. And that trackpad could possibly be a solid state trackpad similar to what we have on the current MacBook models where it doesn't actually move, but it has haptic feedback built in and um, you know you have gesture support built in as well. Now it's gonna be really interesting as to, to how big this trackpad is, um, the design of that smart keyboard, but all indications point to just a typical laptop style design where your, your keyboard's at the top, the trackpad's below the keyboard. So nothing too wild and crazy here from what we've seen. So what do you guys think about this? I have to say I'm extremely excited about what cursor support could mean for iPad OS. I mean, think about this. Final Cut Pro 10 on the iPad could finally be a reality because that was one of the main like bottlenecks or I won't say bottlenecks. That was one of the main things, in my opinion, preventing an advanced app like Final Cut Pro where you need precision control on the timeline. Uh, that just doesn't work all that great with touch input. It can work, but it's so much better, so much more precise. So think about this for a second, the iPad. It's super powerful. That A-series chip can easily handle 4K video and higher. It also has a great input output support. So now you have USB-C, so that's great. And now we're talking about adding adding a trackpad to the equation. So the question is, what's holding an application like Final Cut Pro 10 back when you have cursor support in iPadOS? My answer to that, nothing at all. I think we will see Final Cut Pro 10 on the iPad sooner than later. Well, at least I hope we will see it sooner than later. Are you excited about having potential cursor input on the iPad? 
Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this. I think we will see Final Cut Pro 10 on the iPad sooner than later. Well, at least I hope we will see it sooner than later. So folks, this is legit. It definitely looks like cursor support is coming to iPad OS this year. It definitely looks like we'll have a couple of new smart keyboards with trackpads built in coming this year. Folks, I'm excited. What about you guys? Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you excited about the potential of iPad OS 14, iOS 14 cursor input on the iPad? Let me know down below and also subscribe because yeah, we got more stuff coming up soon. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.